Hi, what is going on YouTube? Welcome yourselves to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be looking at Fortnite Season 8 Weapon Tier List video. This is the inaugural Weapon Tier List video of Season 8 officially on YouTube. No one's ever done it before because I made this tier list. I looked through, there was a couple around, everything was trash. I'm going to show you the best weapons to use in Fortnite right here, right now for this season. And this is going to be considering how fast the rate of fire is, how good the time to kill is, how consistent the weapons are, and not only that, if I'm bad with the weapon or I hate the weapon, there will be no bias here. So, you can trust this is going to be a good video. Let's get into it. And if you enjoy it, I'll appreciate it if you drop it with a like rating and leave a comment down below. And maybe, maybe subscribe. Maybe subscribe. So starting off with the pistol. Uh, this is, I think, the first weapon that we had to put through the gauntlet. Because you do spawn with the pistol on reboot, so it is kind of a foundation weapon in the game. Now, I really do like the pistol in Fortnite. I think it's a, a fantastic weapon. If you can get your fire rate fine, you can click fast enough, uh, you'll be right to use it. Do note this tier list is going to change by the end of the video. We're going to put all the weapons in the tier list, and then we're going to rearrange. Uh, pistol, the default pistol from grey to blue, that's going to be B tier. When you do have a purple or gold one, it is going to be A tier, unfortunately. I think back when you had Mandalorian season and during the desert and stuff, uh, the gold pistol was an S tier weapon. I don't know if my skills decrease that much, but at the moment, I really struggle with the gold and purple pistol. The fire rate and the accuracy just doesn't feel the same from spamming it from far range. It does still feel really good, but not like it used to. Next, we're going to be moving to the lever. This covers every single lever in the game. No gold, no purple discrimination here because the levers all look the same. Uh, this for me, the lever is a great shotgun. I really like it. Good foundation shotgun. Uh, it is about an A, B tier. We're going to chuck it in B for now. Subject to change probably later. Uh, the consistency is good for the lever. Sometimes I feel like though with the purple ones, I hit for about 20 or 30. Uh, and the amount of times I have to close and edit and then redo my PNJ and then like hit another jump shot and then close and reset and keep doing that flow of motion. It does kind of drop it down to B tier for me uh, because it doesn't always feel like it packs that punch that you need it to. Uh, moving on to the next weapon, the pump. Pump's a great weapon in the game. However, the pump is very inconsistent. Uh, sometimes you'll be hitting for 18s and then sometimes you'll be hitting for 150 pluses and for that I'm going to put it in B tier. The Spaz, uh, if you haven't watched my streams before, you know I hate this weapon, but this weapon is a phenomenal weapon in the game, one of the best weapons in the game. I do, however, dislike it because I do think it doesn't require that much skill to use. Uh, the fact that someone can be 1 HP and hit you for 200 in the head, lucky shot, whether they're a bot or not, just having to click at the right time and line it up correctly, I am going to have to... Uh, put it in S tier, although I dislike it, uh, because hitting that 200 it is the best shotgun in the game. But now let's move on to my favorite shotgun. We're talking about the charge here. The default charge is phenomenal weapon. You can hit a 200 shot with blue ones at the moment. Uh, for that, I think the charge, the default charge is better than the lever and normal pump. It is going to go in A tier. We don't have a picture of the gold or purple uh, variants of the charge, so we are using kids charge for that. That is S tier for me. However, I do not feel there's a lot of discrepancies between the purple, um, blue and gold variants of the charge. The purple and gold variant, just out of principle, we have to put in S tier. I'm going to have to experiment a lot more this season with it. I have hit some really nice shots with it, but also some 30s when it's been full charge, which I don't know if that's server side or because I play on 70 ping, but I'm going to put it in S tier because in my heart, I know that's where the charge belongs. It does require a very different play style to the spaz. Uh, it is a very high skill based weapon, so if you feel like you're struggling with it, maybe keep mixing it up, keep trying, and you might hit some nasty shots with it. If you do want a bit more of a consistent shotgun, unlike the pump, uh, maybe the charge might be for you. Maybe it's time to give it another go. Moving on next to the SMG, a uh, fantastic foundation weapon in the game that is going to be a B tier for me. I'm starting to think a lot of the season feels kind of balanced to a degree, which is kind of odd. Uh, moving on next, P90. It's just a, a submachine gun on crack. That is going to be A tier for me. Very great weapon, easy to spam people with and stuff. However, it does not compare to the rapid fire SMG. Now, I suck with this weapon. Uh, it does always screw me over. But if you can use this uh, item correctly, like I've seen in Adriana or Sparkle's QT streams, um, you can destroy this weapon. You can do damage through builds with it. It makes taking, retaking walls a lot easier. Uh, the rapid fire SMG is not to be messed with. It doesn't do as much damage to players, but in terms of when someone's trying to hold down bills and you've got to hit that last couple shots, you've got to retake their walls, I highly recommend it. Moving on next, the Common Assault Rifle, or the AR as we all call it. That is a phenomenal weapon. That's going to go in A tier for me. It does kind of feel off when you have the greys and greens of it, but I really like it. Uh, after that, we have the Scar. This weapon is broken. Uh, a tier. It's 
I love it, but it's broken, let's be honest. Uh, moving on next, you have this suppressed scar, this is suppressed assault rifle. Um, I don't really like this weapon, to be honest with you, and I, I don't understand why it's in the game and why you have to craft it. And I have seen some people running it, maybe it's some people preferred, but I feel like the bloom is worse for it compared to the normal scar, and the fact that you have to use uh, nuts and bolts to craft it or have an initial scar in the first place, it is going to actually drop that down to C tier for me. Um, Coming up next to Famous, I have hit some nasty shots with the Famous this season, but I do think if you have green or grey variants, this gun sucks. For its 20 ammo uh, capacity limit and only doing two shots per thing, the bloom is way off. And if someone's just moving around a little bit too much or sidestepping, you can get easily killed by Salone, IO guards, a lot of experience with that. So that is going to be uh, a D tier weapon for me. Uh, however, I do like the blues. It's just, it just, it's. I can't say it's better than the suppressed scar and I definitely wouldn't put it in the same category as these. Moving on next to the AUG, AUG is a phenomenal weapon in the game, it did get heavily nerfed because it used to be super OP, uh, if you triple dink someone you could do easily over 100 damage with them and then if you shot them twice with the triple dink, because there's free, there used to be free bullets per shot, uh, used to kill someone with over 200 HP. So it used to be super OP, uh, I'm really happy to see it back in the game as a normal spawning weapon and not something you have to craft, uh, it's A tier for me, I think it's really really good, I think you can compete well with the scar as though it's not as good as the scar. But when it comes to the Mythic Orb, which is 39 damage to the body, which has 21 bullets in it, that takes three shots. If all two bullets from each shot connect, does over 200 damage, it can easily do damage through walls when someone's holding down a wall. That's an easy S tier for me. This weapon's phenomenal. I've been dropping on it every single stream at the moment, and I love it to death. Um, moving on next, we got the Sideways Rifle. Um, it's a bit like the, the Stark Rifle or the Alien, um, Alien Pulse Rifle that I had last season also. Um, however, the rate of fire when you're aiming down scope seems really, really slow. The hip fire is really nice for it, but I don't think it deserves to be in the same tier as the Org or the Common Assault Rifle or the Burst. And for that reason, I am actually going to put it down in Famous category. Um, I don't recommend using this gun. I don't recommend upgrading this gun. But, uh, you know, try it out if you haven't. It's always good to try new things in the game, but not for me uh, and not for a lot of people, especially with its low ammo capacity. Moving on next, the sideways minigun. Uh, this minigun is disgusting. The longer you hold it down, the faster it gets. Uh, at any variant, I think this is disgusting. It's really nice to fight in the sideways with this. I call it the Shimmer, so I love using this in the Shimmer. And then when you can upgrade it to Mythic, it's absolutely disgusting. It does take a little while to get used to in your playstyle because it takes a while to pull out and start charging up, but once you hit a couple shots with it, there's no stopping it really, as long as you know where the person is. And for that, I'm going to have to put that in... That's S tier. That's an S tier weapon right there. Next, we got the automatic sniper rifle. The S automatic sniper rifle is a really great weapon in the game. I really like this gun. Um, it's really good for destroying bots. Uh, if you've got Salone at a distance and you can line up the headshot, this will beam her. I think this is the quickest way to kill her in game at the moment. Uh, if you're fighting people from range, it's really good. However, the scope isn't really as far as I'd like it to be. I think the scope should be a lot further. I can hit AR shots pretty easily or AUG shots pretty easily from its scoped range. Maybe having a variable scope would be sick, like an Apex kind of deal. But I don't think it's worth subbing out your AUG for or subbing out minis or a half pot for. It is good for start game or people at range, but the typical player, based on how people, how high people's skills are nowadays, I don't think it's worth picking up. And for that, I'm gonna have to drop it down to B tier. Next, we got the Pulse Sniper Rifle. I forget the name of this gun. I think that's the name of the gun. Uh, this gun is still disgusting, still does shots through builds. The charge up time does kind of suck for it, but uh, if you use it well, it could be S tier. I think for the common player, it is an A tier weapon. The reload time is really slow for it, but it does destroy it. Next, we got these two fucking things. I hate this. It's just, Epic, what are you doing? It's just, it's so overpowered. It's so, so overpowered. But it is S tier, let's be honest, it can do damage through 10 builds. Through t if someone's got 10 builds in front of them, you can still grab them. It takes two shots of grabbing through the hard new metal walls in game to destroy them. And then not only that, it does 60 damage to someone. The only downside to these two items is when you grab someone, it takes you about one second or half a second more to pull out your shotgun than it takes them to pull out their shotgun because of some cooldown. So you could get pumped in the head if you use this, but most of the time the person's discombobulated enough to not know where they are, not know what direction the person who just grabbed them is. 
and typically you get destroyed after you get grabbed with this. Pick these up at all circumstances you can and try and hide them in zone first. <laughs> Especially if you're using charge. Uh, it doesn't pair well with the charge, but it pairs really, really well with the spaz. Uh, next, we're moving on to our exotic item. Now, we've had these items in game for the past two, three seasons. Back in, in rotation again, the Marksman Six Shooter is a really fun weapon, decent weapon to use in game. It's really enjoyable to use in game, but it feels about the same as the semi automatic sniper. I wouldn't really recommend buying it or using it, but if you want to just mess around with something, it's great. The Shadow Tracker Pistol, this is disgusting. Thing. This feels just as good, if not better, than the current gold pistol. You can see people through walls for it. That is S tier to me. Next, we've got the Nighthawk, aka the Scoped Pistol, aka the I don't understand why this is in game. You can hit some nasty shots, rate of fire, based on how people build and push these days, and the low ammo capacity. That's going to be an E for me. If this shot as fast as like a common pistol or a little bit slower, I think that could easily be C or B tier, but. It does not, unfortunately. Storm Scout Sniper. This is reportedly still in game. I haven't found it yet this season. Really have loved the rate of fire of this. It doesn't shoot as fast as the semi-automatic, but it does have the longer scope range and seeing early zones, especially in comp, uh, this can become really useful, although you'll never have enough gold to buy it in comp. I really like this sniper, and for me, that's an A tier weapon. I think if you can line up your shots and hit a few of them well enough, you can destroy people. Next, the Dragon's Breath Sniper. This is disgusting, especially with Fire's current rate, spread rate in game. You can hit nasty body shots on people. Avoid this. Avoid getting shot by this at all costs. Uh, next, we've got the RPG. Now, the RPG is a staple foundation gun in the game. A bit like the common assault rifle. I really dislike dying to it, but you can use this weapon to get into, into boxes. You can easily destroy people before they even have the shot to build. You can shoot it behind and it does more damage to them. I really like this, uh, but for me, the, the rocket launcher is going to have to be an A tier weapon. I don't think it really compares to S tier because it's not something that's going to help you win a game necessarily, but it like compared to like a spaz or a charge or an org or a scar where you feel like you have a lot more domination a lot more power when you have that in your inventory but i do think it's a tier it is a bit like having a p90 it does give you a bit more of that competitive edge uh grenades these are still super op in the game uh, i hate when someone like throws six of these at me and i just don't box up perfectly enough or one of them gets in or sneaks in um i'm actually gonna have to put a tier because i do think you can outbuild these at the moment although it is disgusting especially if multiple teams have multiple stacks of six fireflies the rate of fire spread at the moment sucks although these can't do damage really to brick or metal great way of finishing off people and doing means and causing people to push out of fights or even breaking down big build fights if it's built out of wood at the bottom but i am gonna have to put that in b tier because i do think there's better alternatives to carry in game next we have the harpoon a highly skill based weapon very very similar to to the carnage or venom symbiote however it does only do 75 damage and you have to perfectly line it up you can also use it to grab fish i really like this item i'm glad to see it back because i hated fishing in the game and i don't think i fished once last season uh, for me, the Harpoon is going to have to be A tier out of principle, if not the same as the Symbiotes. Lastly, we've got the Recon Scanner. Recon Scanner, phenomenal item in game. The Recon Scanner allows you to see ammo boxes, chests, uh, nuts and bolts cases, as well as players through walls and in corn. You can line up shots easily. It's basically like being Bloodhound or Seer in Fortnite, which is kind of nasty. Great weapon in game. All right, let's have a look at the list and let's see what we're going to be adjusting. Okay, now out of principle, I said before that the weapons in str will change the game and will allow you to win so in my heart i have to have a major adjustment here everything is getting dropped down one tier completely and we are changing the very foundation of a tier and s tier now i do believe weapons that are great to have but will not change the game for you entirely do have to go down to b tier so that is going to be the storm scout the nades um the harpoon allows refreshes so we can't put that down rpg goes down a tier and then we are also going to be moving the common assault rifle down one tier. This makes sense because it is still above the Famuses and other guns that are around here, the other assault rifles, but it is not the same as having an AUG. It is not the same as having a P90 or a Charger, a Gold Ripple Pistol, or this Pulse Rifle, etc. And we are going to be moving the sub uh, SMG down to the same tier as P90 as well as the sideway miniguns now those these weapons are great having these is not going to change the favor in a game i do think you can destroy anyone with any level of gun in this game but if you do have the spaz the charge the scar the mythic org either of venom or carnage fixed symbiotes the shadow tracker pistol the dragon's breath or the uh, recon scanner i do think is going to change the tides maybe so much the dragonfire sniper but i've seen a lot of people destroy it just because I'm not great with it doesn't mean it's not a great weapon. And yeah, this is my tier list.
I think I explained that pretty well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave it with a like rating and comment down below what you'd like to see on the future on the channel. If you're not subscribed, I appreciate you subscribing. Ding dong that bell. Side note, if you'd like to do this tier list yourself, if you disagree with any of my opinions, the link is down below in the description with a link to the Discord. Post your results in the media channel in Discord. Come by the stream sometime. Talk shit to me about how bad my opinions are. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.